We're gonna make cloud dough. Cloud dough. Whoa, there is probably a neater way to do this. Really gently. I'm getting some monster hands. I have Maya and Colin with me today and we're gonna work on a really fun activity this morning and Maya, Colin and I, what are we gonna do? We're gonna make cloud dough. Cloud dough. It's super yeah. easy and we're gonna do it with you so you can see how we do it and you can try it at home. Do you wanna make cloud dough today? Yeah. Yeah, me too. <laughs> so here are our ingredients. What do we need, Miss Maya? We need a ton of Conditioner, fortifying conditioner, some <laughs> cornstarch, and a cup of bowls, and some of uh, some food coloring. That's right. The basic recipe is really easy. All you need is conditioner and cornstarch. You can add food coloring if you want to add some fun colors, though. But should we do the purple? All right. You're just gonna get your own mixing bowl. Oh, you get to choose yours. This is red. I got a variety of conditioners. You really only need one kind, but I thought it would be fun to get some scented versions so the kids could pick out the scent they like best for their cloud dough. This one has like an apple smell to it. Can I smell? Mm -hmm. Can I smell apple? You gonna smell the apple? Is this lavender? And this one is like pomegranate. And then we also have one that has like some oils like avocado, olive, and almond. Smells good too, a little cleaner though. I want to do the pink one because it smells super yummy. That's pomegranate. I want to eat it. What one do you want to do? This. That one? Okay, that's a good choice. I actually forgot this one too. This one is vitamin E and argan oil. It smells good too. It smells very fresh and clean. Can I smell? You want to smell it? Do you want to do this one? Yeah, you like that one. So the first thing you do is mix two part cornstarch with one part conditioner in a bowl. So we're gonna do two cups of cornstarch with one cup of conditioner. Here's our cornstarch, it's a little bit messy. Whoa! And we're gonna do two cups. You're gonna fill that to the one cup mark twice. Whoa! <laughs> it's a little messy, isn't it? Yeah. Whoa! There is probably a neater way to do this than what Maya just did, but we'll make it work. I think Maya's covered with cornstarch now. All right, let's do another cup, because you need two cups, right? Ooh, I'm gonna do this over the bowl. I didn't think it would be this messy. That's about two cups. Ready? We're gonna do one cup. You can pour it in for me. You wanna do that for me? Yeah. Really gently. Ooh, good job. We'll tap it. And we do one more cup. And now that we have two cups of cornstarch in each of their bowls, we're gonna add one cup of conditioner to each bowl. I think you're making a mess, Colin. <laughs> I think this might be a good time to go ahead and mix the food coloring with the conditioner, so we're gonna try that, and then we'll add the colored conditioner to our bowl. I'm adding some sky blue. Sky blue. Yours is yellow. Your conditioner has a color to it. What color are we gonna add? Ooh, I think Colin's choosing red. Now once we have the food color mixed with the conditioner, we're gonna add it to the bowl where we already have the cornstarch and we're gonna just knead it with our fingers until it gets to a good consistency. It should be kind of like a Play-Doh, kind of like a slime, kind of somewhere in between. You do this, Colin, look, you turn it upside down. Yeah, oh, put it close oh. to your bowl. <laughs> and you can get your hands in there and you're gonna mix it really well. And you're gonna knead it like you're kneading dough. While they're busy mixing, I'm gonna get on mess control and kinda get a little bit of this mess picked up. I did not think it would be this messy to make. Wow, this so good. And keep on mixing until it's not sticky. We have cornstarch everywhere, guys. Uh, yeah. Everywhere. Absolutely everywhere. I'm getting some monster hands. I wish it was edible. I decided to make this today because Colin's preschool teacher actually
actually recommended it. She said it's great for developing those fine motor skills and really getting those muscles in your fingers and your hands stronger. And it's kind of the step before Play-Doh. So this is kind of warms them up before they move on to Play-Doh play. I don't want to take me on my head. You do need some help, Colin. Yeah. I'm gonna help Colin get his form so that he can move on from the creation stage to the play stage. Let's really work on kneading this. Really needed a little bit more. Oh, that feels good. You want to put your hands in there? There. Ooh. There's just so much, so much more slime than mine. What's interesting is the consistency of Collins and Mice cloud dough is very different. I think Mai's is more how cloud dough is supposed to feel and Collins is a little bit stickier. So I think maybe more of his ingredients ended up on the floor than in the bowl, but I think he's still having fun playing with it. I forgot about the scent and then when Collins showed me it, he was like, smell it. I'm like, I'm like oh yeah, the scent, it smells so good. <laughs> I'm glad. I decided to add in some real kitchen items that I have around the home for them to play with with their cloud dough because I often find if I buy toy sets of like kitchen materials, the kids never have as much fun with them as they do with the real stuff. So we're pulling out some real stuff from the kitchen for them to experiment with. Look, I made a cake. Make some muffins for me and I'll give you a piece of my cake too. Okay, my cookies. Cookies. Some cookie cutters too. Do you guys know what kitchen tool this is? It makes sandwiches go it, into little squares. It is. I used to do this for Addie in preschool a lot. <laughs> it's one of those sandwich cutters and it makes itty bitty teeny tiny sandwiches. I used to make peanut butter and jelly sandwiches for Addie like this. Peanut butter and jelly. Peanut, peanut butter and jelly. Peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. Mickey coming up. With all the sandwich cutter talk, it made Maya remember that we have an old Mickey Mouse sandwich cutter, so the kids are requesting peanut butter and jelly sandwiches Mickey Mouse style for lunch. Oh, and of course Sandy came in the room. Oh, no, no, no. I think Sandy smelled the peanut butter. Oh, look at that good dog sitting there. You want to bite so badly, don't you, Sandy? Yes, you do. You're licking those lips. No, 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 no. Miss Graff, sit. Good girl. Yeah. Ooh. 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 <laughs> In order to keep your cloud dough, it's really important that you keep it dry and away from air. So it's good to wrap it in saran wrap and then put it in like a Ziploc bag for storage. If when you open it, it's a little bit dry, you can just add some more conditioner to it and really knead it and it should be good to go. Put it on there and wrap it up. Okay, you can do it like that. Wrap it up really well. In general, cloud dough doesn't last quite as long as Play-Doh does. But the good thing is it's really easy to make. So it's easy to whip up another batch if yours gets too dry to use. What's the verdict? Do Mickey Mouse sandwiches taste better than regular sandwiches? Yeah. They do? What about you, Colin? Yeah, they do? Well, if you guys could eat sandwiches in any shape, what would they be? Mickey Mouse. Mickey Mouse? You have a Mickey Mouse sandwich. Princess one. A princess shaped sandwich? Ooh. Colin, what about a shark or an astronaut? Spider Man. Ooh, Spider Man. What would you want? Spider Man. Spider Man. I think Sandy would be happy eating sandwiches in any shape. She is hanging by the door to the screened in porch and just pawing at it, wanting to come out and have a bit of a sandwich with us. It was probably a bad idea of me to give her that little scrap of crust because now she knows how good it is. Our screen and porch is one of the big reasons we bought this house. It's one of our favorite places to hang out, eat our meals, I like to come out here and work. 
and we love it so much that we, I think, are getting ready to do something with our porch downstairs, maybe screen it in and make it kind of a cool, fun environment. But right now, the kids have taken over the space, and I'm gonna show you around that a little bit later when Addie is done filming for her gaming channel because they have turned it into a crazy fun hideout with all their neighborhood friends. done filming now so I thought I would come down here to the hideout do you call it a hideout or a hangout hideout, hideout. <laughs> for the kids to show you around Addie why don't you show me something in your hangout that you love oh how about let's start with the outside porch the outside porch okay yes, this is your porch really area porch. We can sit and have lunch here. I love it it's your own yeah. little lunch table and you made an umbrella I see yeah. we yeah. found an old brick and we got some rocks hot glued it Wow and then if we come in here, they have pulled all sorts of furniture out of our storage room, out of pretty much everywhere. Yes, the hardest thing that me and Caroline had to lug from the storage room, what down was it? the steps, into the hangout and put back up, are the lockers. Was this the locker? Side. It was oh. just us and we had to use um, the, the wagon, wagon to bring it wow. down the steps. Wow, and this was from our toy scientist set, wasn't it? This is my locker of Caroline's, that's um, Maya's, this is Clark's, and we're working on one for Emerson. This is our mailbox right here. Oh, a mailbox. What is the S for? Ah, spy. Oh, okay, your spy clean. club. Very fun. I love the mailbox. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this is your meeting area. And, and we have these like school. huge pom poms we'll put in there. All these are so huge we're, pom poms. We're making one for each um, person. They're all going to be in the chairs. Oh, We've how only fun. made one so far. It's Addie's. So cool. And what's this, Addie? This is from um, Toy School. And this is what you use for your meetings? Yes. And my favorite part of the hideout is over here. The candy table. The candy table, it's wow. Yeah. That's cool. This and these are from Toy Cafe, aren't they? Yes. You're part of that set. Okay. Jason and I have really played no role in this. The kids have just been down here transforming this place. They're doing crafts all the time. What is this thing behind me? Oh, it's your clothesline. Your clothesline? Yeah, we, 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 make this, we make this place really messy, so we have, we have a clothesline so we can put our rags that we help clean us with. Wow. Worm farm. worm farm, wow. Yeah, like and this is from public Toy place. Hotel, right? That's our cart yeah. for Toy Hotel. Like well, because of COVID-19, the kids didn't get to play together for months, and they love their neighborhood buds. So more recently, the neighbors and I decided that the kids needed to get together and for their own emotional health and mental health, so we decided the kids could play outside together, but we wouldn't go into each other's houses. And since we can play outside, the kids have been doing all of this to keep themselves busy during the days. So why we created this hangout? Well, we got the inspiration from just eating lunch in here. From just eating lunch in here one day? Yeah. Yeah. And you turned yeah, it into a cool hangout? The day, yeah, the first day we got back from, from playing, cushions were all over the place. We had barely <laughs> any of this furniture in here. And, and you then, transformed it. Yeah, there were a bunch of cobwebs everywhere. Yeah. And two of their neighborhood buds that you've seen here who are here all the time, pretty much every day, are Caroline and Emerson. Here's Miss Caroline oh. and Emerson. Say hi, guys. Hi. <laughs> a few other friends too, but I'd say Carolyn and Emerson and Clark probably are the ones who are here the most. Anything else you want to show the audience about your cool hideout uh, area? Sometimes um, we like we like saving up for stuff that we can put in here. Uh -huh. So this is our needs jar. Oh, okay, so this is needs jar and wants jar. Also, you're saving money. And you, did you spray paint these too, it looks like? Uh, I painted it with nail polish. Very pretty. And I see you have some art over here. Oh, yes, I did that to cover up our spy plans. <laughs> and then Emerson has something over here that they've also been working on. We what is this? We spray painted this and we can like change. Gizmos and all, like, oh, and all that. Also, so, yeah, like, and what is that that you spray oh, painted? Basically, we found it between mine and Emerson's backyard. It was a wreath hanger, but then we spray painted it gold from green. Yeah, I think someone just like threw it in the forest and they didn't need it. <laughs> it was like garbage, but we turned it into That's exactly something. what we I love it. You've been doing a lot of painting. So we have a beautiful vase oh, over here that. that they painted. Did you make this, Caroline? Yes. That turned out pretty. Like, that's soon to be art. It's like gonna be yeah. an art station. Yeah, we're making a few and we're gonna hang them. Oh, so fun! And this is your craft box. Yeah, so you yeah. have all these like art yeah, supplies. Yeah, I had like an old shoe box and I made it all. 
pretty How cool. Is this a song list? Oh yeah, yeah. we like playing songs a lot. So That's right, what else, because what, what do you guys bring down here a lot? This is Alexa. Alexa. And this is pretty art you, hang up, you hung up. Mm -hmm. And you made that, Caroline? Yes. You guys are so artistic and creative down here. Thank you. We make like music videos all the time. They do make yeah, music videos. Yeah, we made like the Queen of Mean music video. Well, I don't know about you, but I love their hideout. I think it's the funnest place, and I love that it's done all by them. So much creativity has gone into this place, and it's just fun to see all of the creations that they've come up with. And you kiddos will spend hours down here, won't you guys? They yes. will be down here for hours at a time. Yeah, in this in the summer, we we like asked each other to play at, at like 10 a.m. We came over at about like 10.30 to 11, and then we played till like six o'clock. Well, thank you so much for watching today. What do we say, guys? XOXO! Bye! -bye.